Conjunctivitis is the most common cause of red eye presenting to an eye hospital. The conjunctivitis may occur in any age group, right from children to adults to the elderly population. Conjunctivitis can be caused by a wide series of viruses, bacteria and other organisms which infect the eye. They may occur individually in a patient or they may often occur in groups in an entire family or in the entire office. Viral conjunctivitis is most commonly caused by adenovirus, which is a very highly contagious form of infection. In adenoviral conjunctivitis, the infection may initially start with one eye and subsequently by the third or fourth day present with the redness in the left eye as well. In addition to redness of the eye, the patient will often have profuse watering of the eye and blurring of vision. At presentation to the hospital, we initially examine as to the severity of the infection depending on which various eye drops need to be started to reduce the conjunctivitis. Hygiene measures play a very important role in limiting the spread of infection from one person to the other. It is a common myth that conjunctivitis spreads by just looking or talking to a person, which doesn't really happen. The main reason for spread of conjunctivitis from one person to another is through contact transmission. The tears coming from the eye contain the viral particles and while touching the eye, if we touch a hand surface to any table, chair or any other place, the virus tends to remain on the surface. This then transmits to the other person who unknowingly touching the surface goes back to touch or rub the eyes. Viral conjunctivitis can be contained by keeping your hands clean and preventing the eyes from touching any surface using disposable tissues, cotton and other materials while cleaning the eye is much better than using handkerchiefs, towels, pillowcases or bed sheets where the infection can spread to other members of the family. The usual episode lasts for around one to two weeks during which eye drops and medications can cure the problem. You need to avoid taking medicines from over the counter in the pharmacy because many times these medicines may contain drugs which are not safe for the eye and result in various side effects. During the two week period when you have the infection, the infection can be transmitted to other members at home or in the office and hence extra precautions need to be taken. After two weeks, however, the conjunctivitis is no longer infectious and you can resume all your daily activities at home and as well as in the office. Using dark glasses during this period of two weeks helps to contain the infection and also helps to prevent the infection from transmitting across by touching the eye or touching any surface. In conjunctivitis, the initial use of lubricating eye drops helps to keep the eye comfortable. In addition, antibiotic eye drops may be required in cases where there is secondary bacterial infection or to prevent any secondary infection from occurring. The mild use of topical steroids under the guidance of the ophthalmologist may help in quick resolution of the infection, but however, it should not be done on an ad hoc basis without consulting with your eye doctor.